This cat rides Goldwing. He's asking me how this is. You know, by comparison, this ain't nearly as nice. I know it ain't. The gold wings, they uh, they do everything you want and they do it really good, especially the 1800. But they got no soul. That's what a friend of mine told me. They, they don't. Got no soul. They got no soul. <laughs> so I. But they're a good ride. Yeah, they're comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. Your kid rides a cry tracker. What's he got? Ninja. Oh no, a CBR 1000 now. A 1000. Plus 240 on the speed on He's had it about 160 so far. How long's he had it? Three months, four. A friend of mine, I knew a guy had a shop in Los Angeles. He had a wrecked 1100 cc ninja. That was the fastest production bike at the time. Okay, this was it was wrecked. This was the story on. I thought was interesting. The guy's, the kid's mom, when he got his learner's permit, she took out a million dollars worth of life insurance on it and gave him an 1100 cc ninja he didn't last a month on it so the insurance company was trying to say it was murder yeah but if they if it was it was the perfect crime yeah. it's the insurance company that makes the insurance policy that makes you wonder yeah. right because he didn't break no law yeah i'm afraid my son's going up that way because he's reckless i don't know man it's not 80 miles 90 miles an hour on the river Maybe he's good. I mean, I don't know. But he's been riding. Uh, I'll let him go on the race with a dirt bike. When he was a kid? Yeah. Yeah, he was six when he first got on the bike. We're just getting gas in this station, so I'm just filming a minute of it. He's talking Gold Wings versus Harleys here. How come you got two pairs of gloves? Because these are my copper gloves that help my arthritis. Oh. And then those are my riding gloves. I gotta quit hanging around with these little cars. <laughs> Arthritis and shit. <laughs> Arthritis and shit. <laughs> right, well, I mean, look at my fingers, right? <laughs> for riding too much. I don't know. It's from living too long, I think. Living too long? Yeah, I didn't see you at Sturgis. I was there. How do I know that? You could be making it up. Why? Did you see him at Sturgis? I go every year. With my son every year. He got arrested this year. 18 years old for riding reckless. For riding reckless? He wouldn't listen. They told him four times when I had to bone him out. Well, they, they don't play there, the police. Why don't you just let him sit there? Well, they told him four times. Why don't you just say, okay, you're on your own, buddy. I couldn't leave. Why not? <laughs> my folks never bailed me out. I remember they came to the house, arrested me once. My dad did not come down and get me. He left me there. And I decided, I was in juvenile hall, right? I decided that I didn't like juvenile hall. <laughs> you know. Never got trouble again. I did later on in life. Yeah, well, we're getting out of here. We got a ways to go today. Where you guys hit it now? Rogers. Arkansas. the better part of an hour talking with a young guy here who works here and they're selling the exhaust systems but because he's an Evo guy he just got an FXR I should have filmed some of it but I didn't but that was fun because he was all ears because he's like pulled this thing apart and he wants to he wants it just basically he doesn't want a hot rod he just wants to make it all good again and it's an Evo and that was fun so I gave him more info than 
he can probably retain. He said, no, he said, I'll remember some of it. And he took my phone number, Casey. You know, Evo's for, well, I got my first one in 1990, and I've had them ever since, and I do all my own work. So most of the stuff that I make about them is shit I learned the hard way. I mean it. I learned most everything by screwing it up and going, <laughs> or, you know, whatever. So that was cool. Rally. Just a rally. I'm helping Met Eddie move today. He's got to be out of here by tomorrow. Every time he needs muscle, he comes and gets me because I'm busy with other stuff at the moment, mostly making videos. Well, I'm working on a really hard one. He is selling this twin V Star. Twin Star? They call it a Twin Star. It's a 650. Too late. Just sold it. You sold it? Yeah. Oh, good. Good deal. I'm keeping it for it in case he wants it back later. <laughs> yeah. It's got like what? 9,000 miles on it? 9,920.6. Hey, is this the same one that uh, Doug has? And he yeah. wants 2,500, but I think he probably sold it for two grand. So it's a new bike. It's only 650. Everybody likes their, their V Stars. When I worked the rallies, I used to ask people, hey, I like this bike. Everybody like their V Stars and the Valkyries. So, what are we doing? What do I got to do? Ugh. Okay. He needs hired muscle, so he comes and gets a guy yeah, who's 64. Look, look at, I want you to see something. Watch it. Yeah, you watch it. Watch it. It just falls open. It was up there like that because it's broke loose. Yeah. And it just fell over. So you ripped the tendon. Yeah. I know, it, and your back's worse than mine. It's not healing. You know, I've been, I even wear a strap on it a lot. So I am going to help move that stuff into that trailer. Say hi to all your fans. Yeah. This is the home of Daisy Needy Good. They got a cool museum.
got a, you go into Mexico, you have to get importation, right? Vehicle importation, good for six months. When you bring it back across the border, they got to look at the numbers on the frame. Yeah. They give you back your money, what you got to put up in 140 bucks for an old bike. Right? And then if you don't bring it back, they never let you bring another vehicle in. Well, I got a four year on this one. It's been angled a four year. It's got, and you can't get it done for council. So it's got to cross back. So ride this another year. What is this one? Go to the Long Star Rally. You ever go to the I used to work. I worked yeah. there before. That's a fucking hard place to find a place to sleep. Oh, I went down there with an old friend of mine once, an older guy. I was younger, a little younger, he's older. There used to be a, because it's an island, right? There, there used to be a bingo hall, a big bingo hall that was not used. It just left vacant. Behind it had a room, maybe coming off the back, like where they kept the lawnmowers with an open door. So we pulled in there, I stayed there before. And I'm like, well, there it is. We'll come back here and stay the night. So we go on into the rally. My buddy's older than me, he wants to go to bed. He goes on back there, he calls me up, and he's like, there's a crackhead in our spot. There's a fucking crackhead. Oh, he's freaking out. He's like, I'm camping over there. He don't play self He's like, I'm staying over there. I'm like, hey, hang on. I go, hang on, I'll be right there. I get over there, and sure as hell, there's a crackhead. They're a white crackhead, right? And he's like, you know how they are. Oh, yeah, like I saw so, me. <laughs> tweet out. And I pull up, and I says to him, I said, look, man, we're not the heat. We ain't the cause. We don't care about nothing, whatever you're doing. But we need a place to stay and we're sleeping in there. We're gonna put our tents and our bikes right here and you can sleep in the back. And that's the deal. It ain't his bingo hall. You know what I mean? Right. And so, he slept back there and in the morning he left and never came back. He's probably more scared of us than we thought. Okay, Eddie, give Jeannie this windshield that he's getting rid of because he's moving out of here and he's getting rid of everything but it don't have any mounting hardware and it don't quite fit the bike and I am Mickey Mouse in the shit out of it ain't I <laughs> here so I'm going to drill new holes oblong stuff pieces up like I already did to that one I'm gonna do this one too and we'll see if I can make it work. Okay, I want to keep the one hole gotta get through the cone Okay, after a lot of hacking and cutting and cussing, I made the Yamaha windshield fit onto the Harley Davidson. Hmm? That's it. Came off a Yamaha, I don't know what. I got it, it just leans against the handlebars. I just rode it was dramatically better than before without it. At this point, Jeannie had not been able to eat for some days, and she thought, well, maybe she had a blockage in her guts or something. 
and she decided to ride on home which was only a few hours south and then see a doctor there. It was some days later that she would call me up with the prognosis. Terminal cancer, three months to live. They're pretty colorful. Probably get you all kinds of unwanted attention from weirdos. They'll be like, oh, there's another weirdo. I can talk to her. But it's about two and a half. That windshield eight, looks like it belongs on there, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> it does. Mickey Mouse on, but it came out pretty good so far. Who knows? He hasn't ridden it enough to know. Just had to make cut a bunch of stuff and make these little brackets. Let's see if it works. Huh? My new friend, thank you. <laughs> so I have new windshield, thank you. Last mileage. Went from 25 to 38. Yeah, back 38. up. Fix the carburetor. I have a new friend who knows a lot about this. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Best time of my life. Yeah? Yes. Yes, best time of my life. Awesome. Maybe I'll learn how to find some good spots. Oh, you just got to take a chance. Yep, yep, yep. Look for, you know, some place that seems kind of private and isn't next to anybody's valuables. And yep. Just sleep there and see what happens. And learn how to ride 75 from the state. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be easier now. Yep. Thank you. You'll see it'll be easier with that windshield. Yeah. I gotta clean it. See you, baby. Gotta clear coat that signature on my fender so I don't lose it. Oh, yeah, I should have put it on the side, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I'll get some clear nail polish to put over it. I, should have, I can do it again sometime, maybe next year. We all get it next year. That was fun. But now it's back to being alone and free, which is easier. The company was good though. Put my bike away, back in the garage for now. Gene died November 18th, which was last Monday at this time. Um, of all the the hospital workers, the nurses, and the hospice people that I worked with, they were, all of them were really cool. Almost all of them were very cool, very caring, very kind-hearted. It was actually really um, great to have to work with them. But it seemed that the vast majority of them had had somebody in their family who either died of cancer or had cancer. And one of them was actually pretty sharp. This, she was a, a little cute little thing. And she... She was using a combination of um, ivermectin and there's one other antiparasitical that can be mixed with it that's used for cancer. And so we talked for a while and what I had done was I knew of a natural treatment that had worked for two people I've known in the past. And so, uh, you know, I had bought some of that. The problem that we had with Jean was she had, this has, stuff has to be taken in my mouth and she had pancreatic cancer which makes their stomach not work at all. Everything they eat, they just throw it back up. They dry heave, the stomach goes offline. So I was unable to give her the stuff that I had gotten for her, even though it had worked for friends of mine in the past. So I was talking with this little hospice nurse, and um, I told her <clears throat> that I had gone over to the other media, the free speech stuff, and started looking this stuff up. 
and one of the channels that I watch, World Sometimes, World Alternative Media, the guy in there was talking with the guy whose father really used this stuff heavily in the 70s, and it's all natural. And, you know, they had shut him down, but you can still get the product, you can still get this stuff. And, uh, but what he was saying, what Josh was saying, he said, if you go over to YouTube, where it's censored, of course, all you see is when you look this stuff up, all there is is stuff saying, this stuff's poison, don't take it, it'll kill you, even though it's never killed anybody, right? And it's all natural. But if you look at the comments, all the comments are, this stuff worked for my grandpa, it saved my wife, it worked for me, it worked, it worked, it worked. So what I did was I did that. I went over there and looked. And what I found was exactly what Josh said. And I read it off to Gene. I read 12 or 15 of them and they were all, this stuff worked for me, this stuff worked for me, this stuff worked for me. This is our, the people. This is regular people saying this. You know, um, and so, you know, like... That's pretty good evidence to me. I kind of believe what the people are saying. And I know two people it's worked for. Problem is, you got to be able to take it by mouth. <laughs> and most cancers you can, but not this one. So, that nurse, she had me hook her up with these channels. And I leave links to them on my other channels. And a couple of them here. And uh, she went and started looking this stuff up for herself so she could use it with her family members. So... I've never understood why people will go to X or Twitter or whatever, which is not actually, when you start learning, which is not actually free speech, but they won't go to the actual free speech medias. But this girl was really smart, and she took these things. She handed me her phone, had me hook her up, and hopefully it will work with, she's got an uncle or something that's sick. And hopefully it'll work for them. It's definitely worked for two friends of mine. One of them was retired military, and he, he was a gym owner. And he told me, he'd been around the world, he said he believes there's a natural cure for everything. And we know one thing's for sure, is the regular medical profession does not want to cure the cash flow. We all know that. So looking elsewhere is a good idea, and if you look over there, you can find all kinds, if you put in cancer treatments, you can find all kinds of different stuff and different ideas. And, um, you know, one of the YouTube channels I went to that was about this stuff that I got, there was, as I read down it, it didn't say this cured, this worked, this worked. When I got down lower, there was one of the comments said, have you noticed the way there's 168 comments here? Because it tells you at the top, but we can only see 18 of them. And I counted them up and he was right. They had deleted them. Bottom line is, is for any kind of alternate treatments of these kinds or for any other diseases for that matter, you're going to have to go to free speech. You cannot get it on mainstream. It is not allowed up there. I have many friends, quite a few actually, who died because they refused to go look these things up. Mostly due to the big C thing, which was easily curable when you went and listened to the docs tell you how to cure it. You know, being censored is ridiculous. And there's more free speech than ever before in history now. A person just has to go look at it. And uh, I learned about it a long time ago. Now, Gene's gone, and I'm just cleaning up here and getting out of here. And some people have asked me how I'm doing. You know, I even one of the hospice places called me up for like some psychological counseling. And so I'm going to tell you how I'm doing. I'm sad, and I was sad for a couple days, pretty good, you know, and I did my being sad. But I'm 64 years old. I've known many people who've died. Everybody dies. I get it. I did what I could. I'm really glad I was able here to do this. And um, um, before I go, let me tell you that in case I get canceled here or just in case you want to go someplace where you're not being censored, I'm also on these other channels. And the description to those, I leave links to other channels. And I tell you which ones have been the best for me because I've been using them since I learned about them. So I've been all over him, boy, and you really learned some shit. That's where our people can tell us what they really think. And uh, so I'm leaving you that, and I'm leaving you a few other links down there. And with that, I will see you guys on the next video.